What is up YouTube, it is Jedmite here back with another video and here today I'm bringing you just my quick overview on the BCA content and honestly I think the promo is cool, I, I like what it stands for, how some of the money goes to uh, breast cancer awareness and all that stuff and some of the cards are actually pretty good that they released this year, um, I know that's not supposed to be what the focus is, it's supposed to be on breast cancer but because me as a uh, Madden YouTuber I'm going to go ahead and show you the BCA cards that released and not all of these cards are in packs, if I'm not mistaken. I know, I think all of these guys are in packs. These two are not in packs at all. I mean, maybe maybe they're just super rare, but if I'm not mistaken, not all of the cards have been released into the game. But we got a Jared Cook and a Nate Solder. I'm not going to really show you these guys' stats because they're really not that good. This D'Angelo Williams is actually pretty nice. I, I actually liked his base gold card. But we're going to go ahead and we're going to look at this Jared Cook real quick. 88 overall, 87 speed, I thought he had like 89 speed, 90 strength, 94 release, 82 catching, 74 run block, 76 uh, route running, 77 catching traffic, so that's not really that great at all, 90 spec catch, so in my last video that I recorded like literally 3 or 4 minutes ago, I sat there and dissed Greg Olson's card, because well the fact that his card was a 90 overall is kind of what let me down, but honestly looking at it now, the cards are pretty much the same, except Greg Olson has plus 13 catching traffic. And actually, Jared Cook's release is better, which that kind of surprised me. surprises me. But it's a nice card. It's a nice card, but it's nothing super crazy. Like, it's nothing like, out of this world amazing. Now, this Nate Solder is pretty freaking good from what I've seen. And this dude's probably going to get bought as I look at him. But 92 strength, 91 excel, 72 speed. 92 run block that's that's nice 98 impact impact block this dude's gonna be getting pancakes 24 7 86 pa pass block is not that great but it's not completely unusable i just wish they would have made it like maybe 94 run block and then like 90 pass block just so he'll be like i don't know he's i don't feel like he's really worth 82k I, I, he's obviously not worth any of this amount but i mean it's a decent card. It, the, the card art looks cool. In my opinion, the card art looks amazing. But we're going to go ahead and look at this D'Angelo Williams. I just don't think that either one of those cards I just showed you are worth the amount that they're going for right now. But we're going to go ahead and look at this D'Angelo Williams. And I'm kind of glad that he got a card because you, if you didn't know, his mother went through breast cancer. And I think bre I think she died fighting breast cancer. So this is nice for, for EA to go ahead and give him a card for breast cancer awareness you know because his mother died and everything but go ahead and look at his stats and honestly I think the only diff the only thing that was bad about his uh, gold card or not his, his gold card his base gold was the fact that it was just kind of slow but now his card is really freaking nice I mean he already had really high excel anyway but 91 speed 97 excel 93 carry that is nice 90 agility 92 juke move 87 looseness is all right i would think it'd be maybe a little bit higher he can't truck the save in damn self but 97 excel to go along with 91 speed he's gonna be hitting that 91 speed instantly out of the backfield dude is, dude's a monster from what i've heard i have not picked him up i am i'm thinking about it i really am but i'm not 100 percent sure yet i still need to finish the gauntlet which is what i'm gonna do after i get done recording this video i might play another season tonight too but we'll go ahead and look at the eric berry set now we did get an eric berry and a larry fitzgerald as our rewards and to be honest i don't i don't really understand why uh fitzgerald gets a card every year let me know in the comments below I and mean, i'm not gonna complain about it because i mean i like fitzgerald but we all understand why uh, Eric Berry got one because he fought cancer and everything and I don't think these dudes are in packs either by the way Reggie Nelson and Tremont Williams I don't think either one of those are in packs and I don't know I don't know if I don't know if some of these dudes are in packs yeah D'Angelo Hall is not in packs and I'm not sure I'm not gonna really go look into all these gold cards but I am glad that they gave Devon still one because if you didn't know his daughter went through cancer and everything so that was nice of them to go ahead and do that too but this demarcus where is in packs and he's been pulled uh quite a lot from what i've seen but we'll go ahead and look at his car i'm gonna go ahead and look at the highest one so we don't get it, get it bought when we're looking at it but 85 speed right away that is nice along with 95 excel that is freaking nice um 91 hit power that is nice as well 75 block shed and eh, i don't know how i feel about that i feel like that's kind of low because demarcus where is a monster 51 catch we didn't really expect much from that but we'll go ahead and look and see if we can see his his power move 94 power move so yeah 
Put him on the D-line. He's going to be a beast. I do wish his block shed was at least like an 85, just because I feel like he deserves a little bit better than that. But this is a nice card. This is one of the few cards that they've released so far that was really nice. I'm expecting the um, I'm expecting the Eric Berry and the Larry Fitz to be amazing as well. And um, none of these cards are really worth showing. I mean, some of them they're all right, but um, now the um, I'm trying to think um, when the when they put out the Jerry Rice and the dude said the dude tweeted out, "Don't get rid of it. It goes in the set. You can put that Jerry Rice in this set." You can put it in the other set. It is one of the gold cards that you can put in these sets. Just letting you guys know. But um, I'm going to go look on the block real quick and see if there's any of the limited edition cards on the block. There is like a Vince Wilfork, a uh, Russell Wilson, I want to say. All right, so there is a Vince Wilfork up on the block. He is. This is number 7 of 200. So I don't feel like they're being pulled very frequently on PlayStation 3. But we're going to go ahead and look at his stats. 68 speed. I don't really expect him to be too fast. 99 strength. 95 tackle. 95 block shed. 88 power move. 45 finesse. 98 play rec. 86 pursuit. The dude's always been a monster in Madden when it comes to stopping the run. And just just play wreck in general. Like this dude is just one of the best D tackles in the in the game every single year. And actually, this dude pulled it today. That's pretty crazy. But I just wanted to go ahead and show you guys the stats. My overall thoughts on the promo. It's been all right. I mean, I was expecting a little bit higher overall cards, like more like on along the lines of this Vince Wilfork, more 90 up cards. But they are gonna release more cards that go into those sets for the Eric Berry and the Larry Fitzgerald. So I'll, I'll be sure to update you guys with the new cards release and everything. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. It's been your boy Jay Mutt. Like, comment, and subscribe for more Madden 16 content. Till next time, guys. I'm signing out. Peace.